part two of our glamour makeover starts with the skin smoothing already having been done. Our next step is to contour the face so we bring light to certain parts and dark to other parts. This would be like burning and dodging. In fact, the burning and dodging tool in your toolbox might be able to do the same thing, except it's not able to be undone and redone at will. Professional always works with non-destructive editing techniques like this. So here's step number one. We start by creating a brand new layer up above everything else. Hold down the Option key and create the new layer. The new layer dialog box comes up, and I'm going to call it Contour. In the options at the bottom, it says Mode Normal. We're going to change that to Overlay. And whenever we choose something like Overlay, it offers this extra little choice here. Fill Overlay Neutral Color 50% Gray. We're going to do that. Let's take a look at what happens. It creates a layer, set to overlay, filled with gray, but nothing looks like it has happened to the image. So we're going to hit the default colors in our color palette by selecting the letter D, as in dog, hitting X so that we can start painting with white paint, and set the large brush to 10 or 20 percent. By doing this, I can go around the picture and add a little bit of highlights here and there. A little bit in the eyes, a little bit on the lips, and I can make the brush a little bit smaller, and at about 10%, make a little highlight down the width of the nose. A little bit to the area around there, and lighten up the area around the eyes where we want to catch someone's attention. So a makeup artist would be doing the same sort of thing, basically darkening and highlighting to bring the attention in the photograph to where you want it to be. If we take a look at before and after, we can see we've already started to shape the, the face itself. The second part is to change to a black paintbrush, and we're going to go move in on the eyes and darken some of the features. Again, set to about 20% or so, and darken the eyebrows, the eyelashes, lengthening just a little bit. And a makeup artist would go in here and add some darkening around the edges as well. We could even go rim the eye, eye itself a little bit around the edges. On the second eye, which is mostly obscured, we're just going to do a little bit of that same work. Going back to the white brush tool, I'm going to add catch lights to the eyes by painting with a white brush on the same layer. Where the catch light is, there normally is what we would call a sun, is created by the one master light. Opposite of that, the light refracting through the eye will actually cause like a crescent-shaped moon um, highlight to pop out the other side. We can cl click a couple of times where the tear duct would be to make a little bit of a glisten and perhaps even come across the rest of the eye just to bring attention to uh, the lighter parts of it. Do the same over here. So when we take a look at what we've done before and after, we can see it's completely changed and contoured the face. I'm Rick McCauley, and here's Contouring the Face.